So when you're further down on the river where we have tidal surge coming back and forth, it can tolerate it. It's okay. It can't take straight salt water, but it takes that back and forth brackish flow. Because this part of the river is now much fresher than it's been for 35 years. Uh, the like three, four parts per thousand salinity, whereas it was about several times that before for most of the year. Uh, but we now have fresh water down all the way to Martin Luther King Boulevard Bridge, uh, fresh as fresh as it was before the minimum flow started at the Rowlett Park Dam. So you have a good seven miles of river that's now fresher than it was before. And that's going to help a lot because um, more plants are, are uh, tolerant of fresh water than there are. There's a lesser amount of species in brackish water. And what compounds that is you can't really go to like a garden center and go, do you have any brackish water plants for my river edge? They're going to go, I don't even know what you're talking about. So that's why you're going to need one of our helpers. I'm volunteering as a helper, a horticulturist, to help you to identify what you have, where you may help you make a field press right there in your yard. And then you'll know site specific what your yard is all about, what your yard has in it what you can get rid of by yourself but you need a horticulturist to help you do that because unless you're really a master gardener type or really love plants and love to hunt and peck on the internet you're gonna have a lot of help from garden centers because they don't even know a lot about the native mm -hmm. plants that live on the edge